What's up everybody? The San Diego Surf are back again today. Despite the 7-14 record, maybe there's a little hope for this season. I know we at least have Neil Hope. So we'll see what's next for the San Diego Surf today as we try to turn this season into something noteworthy. Unfortunately, despite adding a potential superstar in Neil Hope, we've seen our win percentage drop significantly compared to the same point a year ago, but the season is still relatively young, and I'm not sure how much the sim engine cares about this, but we have played 8 games at home, splitting those games, but 13 on the road, 3 and 10. So, it's a little imbalanced there, and maybe we can at least close the gap this episode and make some progress. Or maybe we can't, and we are destined to be a terrible team once again this year with no first round pick to look forward to in the offseason. But either way, we've got to find out. By the way, I wanted to share some of the team records. I've wanted to go through this so many times, but I've just forgotten. And today, we see Casey Daniels has the three, three out of the five best scoring outputs ever in team history. Frederick Wilcox is up here along with Rodney Kane. 45 is the team record, and for three-pointers in the game, Casey Daniels, one through four. Jonah Bolden has one of our only 20-rebound games. That's pretty cool. Valanchunas had a 25-rebound effort. Malcolm Brogdon, wow, it feels so long since we had Brogdon on this team. He had our two best assist outputs. I'm surprised that 11 still makes the top five. I guess we're not that good at assisting baskets. A lot of blocks here for Jonas Valanciunas and Dwayne Dedman when he was on the team. I enjoyed playing with him. And then for turnovers. Oh, they even keep track of this. Nine for Casey Daniels. I probably contributed to that. I'm sure I played that game. Anyway, I think we'll get into some simulating today. 7-14. and 14. Hard to do worse, honestly. I think that we would have a lot of trouble not doing better so let's continue against the Lakers we're probably gonna lose but we win we defeat the Los Angeles Lakers we defeat the Denver Nuggets the Sacramento Kings and another team wants Jamal Cole another win this couldn't have gone better and now Frank Kaminsky strained right MCL four to six weeks he was already an injury replacement. Now we have to find the injury replacement replacement. Sure, we did lose two games in a row there, but this was a nice stretch. And the Lakers are a team we've had very little success against over the course of this series. And I love how the game actually keeps track of your history against each team. So LeBron James, 24 points in this game. Kuzma checks in with 20. Again, they added to Marcus Cousins and Lonnie Walker. For us though, Rodney Kane, Casey Daniels, and Neil Hope all get 23 or 24 points. Jonah Bolden gets a double-double off the bench, no big deal, just hit three three-point shots, three offensive rebounds. I knew it was right to keep him on this team. Casey's done a pretty good job in these games as well. He had 20 in this, Bolden had 20. Casey led against the Nuggets. And against Houston, we pretty much held them in check outside of James Harden's 23, but even that is a win. And then Casey, 26, continuing to put up a lot of points. One of the games I'm really interested in is this Wizards game. I don't know if we make it there today. We might. Let's do some more simulating now. So we end that little two-game losing streak by defeating Detroit, and then we lose to the Knicks. I think they've gotten a lot better in this series, however. We dropped two in a row, 12 and 19, ooh. So, it's better than seven and 14, but not a ton. Closing that gap though, at least we're getting some win streaks. That's a little bit better. And for scouting, by the way, I'm having to scout a lot of the prospects that are more in the like 30 to 40 range, considering we don't have a first round pick this year. You know what, today is the perfect day to take on Frederick Wilcox and the Washington Wizards. That should be a lot of fun. We'll make some considerable progress in the series. I'd love if we could get like within a game of 500 and have it be just the perfect setup, but that is not going to be the case. 
Still, I wonder how far out of the playoff race we're going to be. Oh, I never actually signed anybody. I think Bolden might have been playing center in that case, which works for me, and we got some wins. All right, so with a win over Minnesota, we are six games under 500. Not what I would consider to be playoff contenders, but maybe we are playoff contender contenders. I mean, we're only two and a half games out of eighth place. We're in this thing. Casey Daniels is back to being the top scoring option on our offense, averaging nearly 20 points a game. Neil Hope is not far behind. He's now an 87 overall. Rodney Kane, 16 points a game. Four rebounds. Yeah, Jonah Bolden, he's not that far behind Valanchunas in defensive rebounds per game, and he's better at getting offensive rebounds. And now they're titling him an elite paint protector. These ratings make him a really elite rebounder, actually. So I'm glad he's still on this team. He's still going to get a lot of minutes. I had no idea his defense was actually that good because I more so enjoyed playing with him on offense. He can hit an open three, he can play the pick and fade a little bit, but also down low I've had some success with him in recent episodes. This happens all the time in these games, but I kind of get attached to players as you know, and when it happens to be players who are in real life still, like Jonah Bolden obviously, you know, I pay attention to their careers more. And I think next year, I'm actually really excited to see what he can do if he gets a larger role with the Sixers or what happens with that team. Because I'd just like to see if he reminds me of the Jonah Bolden from our series at all. I mentioned this a couple times too, but I watched a lot more of the playoffs this year. Probably more this year than the rest of years combined. And... I was actually really sad when the finals came to an end because I wanted to just keep watching basketball. So now, I think more than ever, I'm looking forward to October and the beginning of next season. Now, I don't know exactly if I'll be doing more on like 2K20, for instance. Right now, I'm having a good time with the game. Can't say for sure what I want to do moving forward, but I know at least I'll be watching basketball. And now that I've learned the game, I would like to keep doing stuff on here. But anyway, looks like a nice matchup coming our way next against the Wizards. All right, Frederick Wilcox, what kind of year have you put together at age 26? Wilcox is averaging 15.7 points per game, which would be a career high. He's also getting about seven rebounds a game. His three-point shooting is a career high. His field goal percentage is also a career high. So it looks like he's gotten a little bit better this season, a more valuable player. And we'll be seeing him very soon alongside John Wall, Bradley Beal, Barney Higgins. This is not a bad team on paper. I have no clue what their record is. Well, fourth place. So it seems the momentum they gained from the Frederick Wilcox trade last season that led them to making the playoffs has carried on into this season. And now we would be heavy underdogs in this game. I can't believe we're facing the former number one pick of the San Diego Surf, the face of the expansion. And now the Wizards meet the Surf. They have a lot more wins than us this season. And we get underway. Frederick Wilcox gives it over to John Wall. And here we go. Wall. Oh, I thought he was going to pull up right there. A legal screen on Frederick Wilcox. A little aggression in your return to San Diego. Come on, it's too fitting. Oh, that's too good. This is going to be fun, everybody. Let's hope we can get this win and at least continue the, the path we set forth earlier, having just a, a slightly better record and win percentage than we did at the beginning. Down here to Jonas Valanciunas. And working to the basket, it worked. Now, I want to take some time soon to do some more in-depth practice on the game because, you know, I really want to make some progress here and I need to have better gameplay to get there. McDonald with the tip in. So, if you could just give me like one or two things to work on. Try to keep the comments relatively simple in that regard, but just like a couple things that you think would make the most difference. 
for the, the near future. Casey's trying to get over there. Not gonna need it, though! A slam from Valanchunas. Oh, Beal cuts to the basket. Good feed from Wall. The CPU pulls off some nice low percentage passes. That's, I think, their low percentage anyway. They sure make it uh, look easy, though. Here's Casey. Oh, that was actually pretty good. I didn't want to pass... Didn't want to shoot with the double team there. But then they covered Hope as well. So, whatever. There's an open look. It's Powell's turn. How about that? Playing patiently. If I have the shot clock with time on it, I got to use it. That's basically basketball uh, chapter one, right? Should probably stick to the basics sometimes. All right, Higgins. I forget about his skill set. Now switch on defense. Higgins. Nope. And the board from Valanchunas. Now Powell. Come on, Hope. Oh, Hope, I thought you could get there. Tipped over. This is going to be a strange possession, I can already tell. Low on time. All right, Valanchunas. Oh, we give it over to Kane. No. I was actually trying to get that to Neil Hope. Oh, well. Wall, over to Beal, a three! Nope, thank you, use your box out. A lot of numbers already for um, Jonas Valanciunas. Okay, that was not a, a good uh, catch and shoot chance there. Have not seen Wilcox with the ball in his hands yet. Higgins, behind the back to Beal. Where is Frederick Wilcox? Beal, too easy. Casey Daniels now going to go down low again. Uh-oh, it's passed away over to McDonald. Now Wall kicks to Beal. We caught up defensively. Casey's cold already off of that. Anyway, John Wall showing the handles. What's he going to work on here? Okay, that was probably not the shot to take there. Let's go to Neil Hope now. Neil Hope. Can he get it done? Driving his way down low and draws the contact. Come on. I feel like I'm getting a decent comfort zone though already with Neil Hope, largely because like I can do things in the game with him that I just won't even come close to working with other players. The contested shots you can take near the basket. It does feel like he's gonna be a star. We just need to make sure that. Oh, Casey took it from John Wall. That'll end it. And Casey, is that considered a dunk? I think that's considered a dunk, which means it might be the first time I've seen Casey do that. But like I was saying, I don't want to be in a situation where we have a terrible team around a star player and we have to trade him for picks. I'm not sure I have time for that either. I need to make this work with Neil Hope. So a four-point game now. Beal down to McDonald. Almost lost it, and... Kane doesn't really contest much. All right, let's see what play they want us to run this time. I had a lot of success when I was sticking to these plays a little bit ago. Casey now going to work on getting close. See, I, I'm not sure what I want to do there. I, I keep getting into that situation, but I'm not sure exactly how to look at scoring. So, Wizards have it now. Down to, oh, too easy for McDonald, tie game. Uh-oh, Wizards on an 8-0 run now. There goes a, a, a decent start. Kind of decent anyway. Rodney Kane against Frederick Wilcox. Where are we going here? Oh, I did not mean to shoot that. And the Wizards can work on continuing this run. John Wall now, he's going to float it up, and that is slammed home. A 10-0 run now for the Wizards. Some backups getting into the game now, but we're going to get a chance here with Neil Hope off the assist from Casey Daniels, and the Wizards' run comes to an end. We'll see if Alexi Edwin or Jonah Bolden can come through now and help us out. I want to play a lot of this game. I'm worried if I sim too much of it. Well, I might end up losing a badly regardless but I feel like if I sim it could be worse and there's a slam with a foul on top of it from Alexi Edwin this is a solid offense for the Wizards 
And now Wilcox is out of the game. Bobby Portis in his place. I don't think we've seen a shot attempt or even the ball in the hands of Frederick Wilcox, which is really odd. Hope again. Let's go over. Oh, Edwin, what happened there? I was just trying to pass to the open Alexi Edwin. Now it's Higgins with an open three. And now it's a 10-point game. Thank you, Edwin. And now it's a two. No bad release. Not a bad idea there. At least we created an open look. Oh, man. We're going to have to figure out how to get a, a second wind here on offense. Forbes for Beal. That gets blocked. And now let's give it to Edwin under the basket. That didn't even work. Bradley Beal taking his time now and a reach. Edwin not having a good intro to this game. Switch defensively. Beal gets by Edwin. Takes the open look short. And another basket for Washington. Doubling up our 12 points. There we go, Hope. There we go. That's how it's done. All right. Thank you for the pick. Got the foul there as well. Needed something to go our way. Yes. Oh, Edwin. No. That's a foul on Morris. We have some interesting rotations now on this team. Casey's been out there, and we're making more subs. Now Jamal Cole is out there. Here's an open look for Jonah Bolden. No. I haven't attempted many jump shots today. I just realized that. Beal in the corner, left alone to hit the three. And now Jamal Cole. There we go off the deflection. He'll draw a foul. Got to get something here. And there's one. 82 overall free throw shooter. Got to be one of our best. And there are two clean free throws. Finally. Oh, that's tipped away now. And we got to get it down there. Casey Daniels. Ooh, this is probably not the best time. So let's try. Ooh. How about Jamal Cole? Worked earlier. Cole gonna work around the defender and he's got two more all right starting to see why teams want to trade for Cole so badly oh Portis gave up the open three and now oh got his own rebound 10 on the shot clock Forbes oh come on he was gonna go out of bounds there there's uh two that falls short 11 point game Cole Edwin and nine point game again a little run here i guess with beal over bolden he shoot that left-handed he sure did an ambidextrous maneuver from bradley beal that was impressive i drew a foul there i have to use the pump fake a lot more and i did there so getting to the line today, a perfect release, and I might need them with Jonah Bolden, only a 54 overall free throw shooter. And, ooh, that one kind of missed badly. But a 10-point game could be a whole lot worse. There's a man open in the corner. Casey gets over. Good job by Bolden boxing out. Got the board with Frank Kaminsky. My first time playing with him in this series. Or out of this series, too, for that matter. Here's Morris now off the screen, knocking down the big three-point shot. So at one point, we were down 15, and now down by just seven. Wonder what the run is now. As Forbes will pull up over Morris, and answer right back. I'm hoping things don't get too out of hand here if I sim like this, and we do... Keep it to single digits, and now it's kind of going back and forth here. But the game is tightening up a little bit. So let's get to the second half and see what happens here. We made it a four-point game at one point. Man, we had it cut down to four, and now it's 12. So let's see where everybody's at. Six points for Alexi Edwin. Three for Bolden, but eight rebounds. Eight for Morris, 
Forbes driving on Morris. Couldn't get a hand on it. There's the board for Alexi Edwin. And now Jamal Cole going to work on drawing a foul or missing the shot. Good defense. I got to do better in those situations. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, Berton's behind the back, and Bobby Portis has a couple points. Now separation of 18 for the Wizards. We have not even seen Frederick Wilcox be part of this game. I haven't seen him attempt a basket today or anything. Alexi Edwin has two more. This was supposed to be about us facing our old teammates. And instead it's just been more about how good the Wizards are overall. Oh, how'd he not lose that? That was a reckless dribble. Higgins still has it. Got open look for two. Man, this is tough. A step back from Rodney Kane. There's a foul. Oh, loose ball. That's five on Edwin. He might foul out of this game entirely. Neil Hope, there we go. We faced our biggest deficit of the day. 26 points. We do get Neil Hope and one. We've created a lot of these opportunities already. So that's one thing going well. But we're down 23 points. Good pass down low, McDonald. I'm just trying to get a stop here. I feel like I've gotten nothing done in transition. I feel like I haven't had that many transition opportunities even. Although I know that we've wasted some. I didn't mean to pass that. I was trying to icon pass and hit the wrong button there. John Wall gets the foul. McDonald makes another basket. It's like he can't miss. So down 26. I'm not expecting to play the rest of this game or to make anything that interesting out of it. Really just want to see... Frederick Wilcox if he uh, makes a shot or anything but he's really been a non-factor today which wasn't you know what I had in mind I thought he would be a, a larger part of their offense as Kane misses yeah I just still don't have a clue what I'm doing in that situation Wilcox blocked by Rodney Kane and I don't know how that didn't go out of bounds there are two points for Frederick Wilcox all right, we're going to wrap this game up and move on to a new one. Neil Hope, 21 points, three three-point shots. Felt like I had a decent feel for things at times in the first quarter and then just really didn't know what to do and didn't play that great defensively. I thought this was our worst defense we've played in a while. Wilcox, five points. Didn't shoot that well, but like I said, the Wizards didn't need him today. They had enough from Bradley Beal and Barney Higgins. Willie McDonald almost had a 20-20 game. If somehow we're able to get into the playoff race again, I think that the Kings are going to be one of the teams we have to contend with because they have a 23-24 and 24 record. If we can't beat teams like this, we're not going to be a playoff team regardless. And let's begin! We win the tip. And hopefully we can win one of these games. I know it's been a while since I played one that we actually were able to get a victory in. Thank you. Jonas Valanciunas again starts the game off with a made basket. I know I'm not going to keep getting away with you know, bad play in the paint like that and taking contested shots. Got to slow things down. Probably follow more plays. And there we go. That's stolen. But I think maybe more importantly... Don't try to do too much stuff that... Whoa, that got blocked. But maybe not try to do too much with the stuff that I am just not that comfortable with. Thought we'd go up 4 nothing there. Hey, we still might. After a miss by Fox. KC, here we go. Valanchunas, let's go. 4 nothing. It's the same start as the Wizards game, apparently. But right around here is where it started to go wrong. Oh, Bagley cuts, Valanchunas didn't see him, and here we go again? We'll see. I haven't seen a screen set by Casey before. There's a three! 
7 to 2 San Diego. I needed that. I need more of that actually. I'll do some more pick and fade and pick and roll. I think I've kind of uh, gone away from that for whatever reason in recent episodes. We have a bad double team there. I don't think I switched. That's okay. I hit a couple shots, so now I can handle, you know, a bad defensive possession there. Let's go around to Neil Hope. We're low on time, trying to blow by everybody. We'll at least initiate some contact. 18.6 points per game this season. Trying to go two for two again. That'll go. Nine to four. Good start offensively. Hand off to Buddy Heald from De'Aaron Fox, who gets the ball down low. Skip pass to Bagley. All right, this is a little more sound. Heald pulls up. Can't connect on the three. I'll take the open look with Rodney Kane. Nice board, Valanchunas. Two more. That's six. Where I think they're getting the better of me is just following their plays well. I don't think they that I've had someone just like dominate down low. I, I keep trying to do a lot of that. I just got to follow the direction here and make good reads. Kind of like football, I guess. Bagley? Yeah, I thought he'd score there. How's that? Casey got some space and can't connect. I don't normally try that, but... Lightly contested there. I'm going to try to do that a bit with Casey when I can. Now Fox. Good defense out of Daniels. Kali Stein versus Valanchunas. And time running out. Bagley's going to have to do this. Or maybe it'll be Derrickson. And oh, Bagley there. Second chance points. Can't stand those. But I know next year, probably not going to have Valanchunas. I'm worried about some regression there, just because of the uh, having a lower overall center, probably. Do you think that's going to be a concern next year, as Valanchunas somehow missed under the basket? Bagley now trying to cut this lead, and he gets the foul. Ooh, Bagley's having a pretty good season, almost 20 a game, averaging over a double-double. This Kings team trying to go back to the postseason, and that misses, 11-9. And now, oh, no, I had to give that to Casey. I don't know why I keep passing it to the wrong player, but I at least get a little layup here with Rodney Kane. I'll take it. Haven't done much with Kane lately. I don't like how someone always, like, disappears from my offense, especially when it's a good scorer. Bagley, bad pass. We might have the numbers the other way. Up top, it's Hope! Yes! Slam it home, though. That would be way cooler. Still, that was a, a nice play. De'Aaron Fox on the drive. Bagley left alone in the corner. And I didn't jump for it at the right time. So Hope gets the board. And Hope, how about a three? Neil Hope hits it! I believe that's my first three with Hope. And it wasn't the best release. Still hitting on it. 18-9. to nine. Much much better start to this game. Collie Stein now. Time running out here. Could the Kings have a bad possession for us? Heald will take an off balance three and he hits it. Come on, buddy Heald. It's been a tough episode and tough stretch here gameplay wise. I don't need you hitting that shot today. Norman Powell now with the ball in his hands. And no, don't think that's going to work either. Not much time here. Kane. Got to float it up. Bang! Kane hits again. That's 20 points for us so far. Might do some simming here shortly as Heald pulls up. Next made basket I will get to simulating. Maybe not. How about Valanchunas? Nope. Now Buddy Heald. Bagley. Working against Kane over the top. Not bad. Six-point game. So I didn't put the team in a deep hole or anything to start. And for once, we're simulating, watching how much we can build this lead up. It's kind of a nice change. And actually, we're having a really good game. So let's get... Oh, wow. This is getting out of hand, actually. 
Well, I'm not going to get back into the game if it's almost 40 points. So how about that? A surf win over the Kings. That was dominant. Casey Daniels, 22. Alexi Edwin, one of the best scoring outputs of his career. Highly efficient. Also had three blocks and nine boards. A lot to like from this. Ooh, right elbow tendinitis here for Neil Hope. I wonder if that's a day-to-day -day injury. Here was the comparison, by the way. We shot a lot better, made more threes. Bench had 20 more points. The second chance difference wasn't too bad. Oh, that's a one to two week injury. At least it's not going to keep him out for a long time, but winning without Neil Hope is going to be tough. This part of the video is going to be a little different. I wanted to add just a little bit more to this episode. So here we are against the OKC Thunder in the fourth quarter. Currently, we find ourselves down by nine. We're missing Neil Hope. We're trying to collect as many victories as we can to give us a shot at the postseason. And we have five minutes to get this fixed. So, oh, I could have taken that maybe with Casey Daniels. Haven't gotten through any of this game myself yet. I just simmed all the way to this point. It's Kane on the turnaround jumper. I'm trying to erase this deficit. Get us a win. Get us closer to 500. We'll see if we can do it today. The Thunder still have Westbrook. But they're a really bad team. They're like, uh, I don't know, 17 and 34 or something similar in terms of win percentage. So, I really want to get the win against them. KC at three. KC hits, and now it's just a four-point game. What else can we make happen today? We can leave Booth alone. He didn't take the three for some reason. Maybe he's not a good three-point shooter. Booth. Oh, wait. That's Paul George. I didn't realize he was still on this team. That's blocked. How to go rate right to George? How? Thornton versus Kane. Now over to Graham Booth. Good defense so far. Booth now takes the two. Eight point game. Gonna be tough to pull it off. Here we go. Valen Shunis off the switch. And now we're down by six. Can we get the defense we need to win this game? I felt a little less confident we could get this done when I saw they still had Paul George. I knew they had Westbrook. They got two stars who could definitely put this game away. I'm not sure about the other players. I think most of them are probably drafted in this series. Westbrook! No! Too aggressive on that. So now the other way. No Neil Hope for San Diego. But we do have Casey Daniels, Rodney Kane, get it out there, Morris the open, three, yes! They were trying to take it from Casey, but he finds the open man, now a three point contest. Ooh, pass down low, Paul George, he's gonna give it up. Two minutes left to play, Parker gets around Kane, can't get the layup, and now Adams, what's Parker doing? He waited around for a moment, this is an awkward sequence here, but they're running out of time now on the shot clock. Booth against Daniels, contested! Come on, guys! Come on, that's not good enough. Steven Adams now shooting two. And that'll make it a two-possession game. He missed the second, however. All right, Casey. They don't want to cover you! Daniels from three! It's a one-point game now in San Diego. Big-time shots from Casey Daniels. Now we got to get the one to put us in front. Booth over to Jabari Parker. And, oh, I was actually boxing out that time. But, hey, it's a one-possession game, and we have the ball. Looks like Kaminsky's checked into the game now. Ooh, running out of time here. Valanchunas, we're going to need something. It's a two. No. Uh-oh, just a minute to go. We need a stop. Can't leave him alone in the corner. Kaminsky too late, but a miss. And we're going back the other way. Kaminsky. Oh, man, this ain't good. 
I call the timeout. I probably shouldn't have. But I don't think that we have the right players on the floor right now. We have two centers. All right. Kane's in the game. Cole's in the game. Casey, of course. So now we just got to hit a big shot. And here's Trier for the tie. No. 44 seconds to go. Thornton up the floor. will pull up from two the board from Jamal Cole. Down to 35 seconds now. Kane thought about it. And now Kane cutting past George. And it's a one-point game. Still 28.7 left to go. And I don't know. Do we foul here? What do we do? Because they can definitely... Oh, that's blocked! You're kidding me! I blocked it! Casey! Cole! No! Cole missed! We have to foul! Oh, man! We had it! 14 seconds left. Oh, Casey now in the bonus. Jabari Parker. Oh! We have a chance. We have a chance if we take a three on this. It's going to be a last second shot for San Diego. I I don't know if I can do this, guys. Parker. He made the second. Last timeout now used by San Diego. We have 14 seconds to get an open look. I think we know who's taking the final shot more than likely. Inbound Casey. 12 seconds left. Casey... I don't know, my ISO game's not good enough. I don't know how to get the moves to go the way I need them to. Daniels for the win! Oh, Casey, no! Oh, man. I called over the pick and then I'm like, I shouldn't be doing that in this, in this situation. Oh, man. And then I had to take a contested shot and that's as close as I've seen those ones go. Oh, man. I really need some practice. Well, we're going to end this episode with a 20 and 28 record. So things have gotten better. Would have been nice to close the gap here on the Kings and get that win at the end there, but we have next episode. Jonah Bolden's hurt, by the way. I see that now. What happened? Neil Hope is out. Bolden is out. Oh, that's serious. Dislocated left patella. Bolden season is over. I'm going to have to make a move next episode. And next episode, if we don't end up closing the gap, I will be doing a lot of simming regardless. But there's a chance next episode is the last of the season. I know I want to move at a fast pace. We're 48 games in, made a ton of progress today. And next time we'll see what the Surf are able to do. But we have some serious injuries to deal with, so... We could see this season come to an end sooner than later. Thank you all for watching. Again, I want to know a couple things I can work on to make my game better for the future of this series. But I plan to do some practice and to really step some stuff up. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time with more San Diego Surf. Have a great day, everybody.